Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my sample Sunday video or hashtag 365 days of samples. I was able to finish a couple of samples and I am working on some and I didn't try two of them. So let's just get into it. I don't have any demos for you guys this week. I honestly just didn't think about it. So hopefully I can do some demos with some of these products next week for you guys. But let's just jump into what I used up. So I used up those two perfumes. One was Prada Candy and I really like this scent. It just smells so good. It's perfect like a sweet kind of scent without being floral but I think there's a little bit of floral in there but it smells really good. I like that. And then my favorite fall winter scent is YSL Black Opium. Now I will say I wasn't a big fan of the applicator or the packaging for this sample. It was kind of a break break off top so I used this in one of my little sample perfume like vials that you can just refill and I did it that way. Or you can use these when you open it and just kind of dot it on your wrist and decollete things like that to have the scent. But the scent is so good. I have a roller ball of it. When I finish it, I will definitely purchase it probably um, fall winter time next year. But I do really like the scent. And then the other thing I used up was the Eve Lom Gel Balm Cleanser. And this was definitely more of a gel balm kind of texture. It wasn't as thick as like a balm or a cleansing balm, but it was more creamy. Um, when you applied it, it did have like a thick feeling on the skin. Um, it wasn't my favorite, it wasn't bad, it made my skin feel pretty good, took off my makeup, but I don't think it's something that I'm going to run out and purchase. So moving on to the items I'm still using, I reached for the Sunday Riley Auto Correct Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream, and this has an interesting color. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it's getting old or what, but it was kind of like a tan yellow color. I don't know, I didn't notice any like huge difference in brightening definitely not in deep puffing but i don't really have super puffy eyes so i can't really be the best judge for that for you guys but i'll keep playing with this hopefully i can do a video of you just seeing me apply this to see if you guys see a difference but i didn't see quite a difference but i'll keep using it then i have the sunday riley ceo rapid flash brightening serum and for me, this wasn't any better than my Ole Henriksen True Serum. I kind of prefer that better for vitamin C. This is vitamin C and it has tetrahexyl desyl asorbate, THD asorbate. Um, but I personally like the Ole Henriksen better than this, but I'll keep using this this week. The last item I was still working on was the Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer and I really have been enjoying this. It still has those little beads. I'm so close to being done with it, but not quite. I should be able to finish it this week. I really like this for daytime or night. It's maybe not super moisturizing for nighttime, especially for the winter, but it's a really great one for daytime underneath your makeup. Then I also am still using my Little Barn Aloe and Rose Water Balancing Mist. So I use this product as a toner. I also kind of use it throughout the day just to like freshen up my face when I it says that I just need a little pick-me-up. This is really nice. I have a coconut one that I purchased as well. Um, this one I believe I got from a Petite Vorbox, but I do like it a lot and I'm going to continue to use it this week. I haven't like marked it. Maybe I should mark it for you guys, but that's where I'm at. So almost like a third of the way done. This is the Too Faced Primed and PT Cooling Matte Skin primer and I have really been enjoying this. It is a subtle peach scent. It comes out in like a peachy type color but when you blend it into the skin it definitely kind of dissipates in color and absorbs nicely in the skin. It does have a light cooling feeling and I kind of am digging the scent so I think this is perfect for the summertime. Um, I, I'm going to purchase this. It's crazy to say. I don't like to say that too often, but it's, this is definitely a product that I will be buying a full size of if it's still available. I know this is not available either at Sephora or Ulta. It's only available at one of them, and it came with the Peachy Collection, so I'll have to see where I can purchase this. If that's something you're interested in, I'll leave it down below. It definitely gives a matte look. I don't know if you can see to the skin. 
which I do like, especially for the summertime. So yeah, this is going on a loves list or wish list on Ulta or Sephora for the next sale. And then the two items I didn't reach for, the Biore face strip and that Charlotte Tilbury Ma Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. Now, the main reason why I didn't use the Charlotte Tilbury is I wanted to finish the pharmacy one before this and I do want to film what it makes my skin look like, things like that with this since I know a lot of people are interested in this moisturizer because I know I am. So once I finish the pharmacy one, I will reach for that. So I have six items I'm still working on. So we're gonna pull four new items from my sample bag for this upcoming week. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so the first thing here is from Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. And I actually have already used one of these up last year. This is a duplicate item that they gave in my Sephora Play, but I did remember liking it. I kind of left a velvety texture on my skin. I'll let you guys know the shade I have is Y245. Then I have uh, from Lancome. This is the By Facile Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. And I haven't tried this before that I remember, um, so I really like using eye makeup removers. They're not cruelty free, however, but I'll, def I'll definitely use that up. Then I have from the Banana Essentials, this is the Banana Collod Collodial? Wow, I don't know why I said that wrong. Oatmeal Hydrating and Rejuvenating Face Mask and Scrub. So definitely something fun to play with. I remember trying something else and you have to moisten you have to get it wet with water um it looks like this is just already in there so you can apply it directly to your face which is nice and then the last thing here it looks like i've already been trying to use it up and during the move i just put all my samples in there this is the living proof no frizz nourishing styling cream and i'm about halfway done with this product so um quick little things you apply this to your hair when it's damp i do remember liking this um, I don't know if it's a love or must purchase, but I will definitely use this this week and let you guys know more about it later. But that is everything that I used up, the items that I'm working on, and the new items that I'll be incorporating in my routine for this week. Let me know if you've tried any of these samples out. I'd love to know your feedback, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.